Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are starting a new topic. In this topic, we will study uh, the latest technology offered by different manufacturers for jacquard manufacturing. Uh, the commercial technology that is available for uh, manufacturing jacquard fabric. So let's see it. Dear students, we already know that. Uh, the jacquard technology has developed over the time. Uh, we know that you can see over here the first of all the the first method of uh, jacquard technology was single lift method in which we had one hook attached for one uh, hardness cord. So this technology was developed by and we have we had the double lift system and for that is why for one cord one uh, there are two hooks two knives double lift system then we saw open shed jacquard that use the pulley system that averages the movement of the hardness and the this double lift uh, combined effect of double lift was transferred to the hardness that is why the semi open shed converted into open shed formation and we also see that the uh, the control from mechanical jacquard was converted to electronic jacquard, electronic selection of the hooks, and then we see that. So we saw that uh, uh, electronic jacquard selection was there, that is, electromagnet was there that caused the uh, retaining of the hooks within knives or not, the selection method. And we also uh, we also can know that the this multi shed jacquard formation multi level of shed multi level of shed formation is possible also possible like in carpet weaving uh, using this jacquard technology. So this is the technology that is available to the and is available and is used by the uh, different manufacturer around the world. Now I will take talk about the latest technology that is available for us to implement. Dear students, let's review what is available right now. Uh, you can see the uh, the limitation that is available in the current jacquard systems are they are the negative system. So um, they have the reversal mechanism on the one side that cause the uh, harness to return to its uh, bottom position and this limits uh, the jacquards to operate at a very high speed that is uh, beyond 1200 bricks per minute so uh, so that is why we need to have a positive system so all the jacquards available right now that is employed in the industry is generally a negative system no, no such positive system is applied uh, the second thing is we have a large mechanical movements to lift uh, the harness up and down, upward. So this uh, this mechanical system has its own disadvantages. A lot of energy is required, and uh, a complex system is there. So that is why we need to think over how we can reduce the energy, or, uh, how we make energy efficient these systems. Then uh, the, the, the jacquard system itself is very complex. It contains a lot of subcomponents, for example, harness cord, pulley systems, knives, selection hooks, then comber and grip boards, then coupling, and there are and gantry that takes a lot of space, like you can see over here. The gantry takes a lot of space. And uh, why this space is required, we will show you that we can. Have sufficient movement in our harness to lift the uh, lift the warp threads. So we need a gantry to pull uh, to position the jacquard at a sufficiently high position. So all these things are that are causing the limitation. Then we see that the we actually do not cannot perform geometry setting in more detail as we can do in a cam shedding system maybe. And also the style changing that is costing out and maybe the density and and the number of hooks with that we require the number of warp control we require they are all adding to the limitation of the 
current uh, jack archery system for example you can see there a very complex system it involves many components and that is why it is making more complex for complex system and uh, which is limiting the our jack archer shutting system so now let's see what's new so the what is the in the core heart of the new technology the new technology in the heart of the new technology we see is the re removal of knives hooks and modification and removal of the mechanical lifting for example pulley system and that is by by increasing the uh, level of control to the individual yarn by using either stepper motors or piezoelectric leaf springs so these are the two technologies that are helping us as a core for the development of new technology of jacquard the stepper motors are very small motors uh, we can we can uh, rotate them with a very small energy and they can help us to uh, wind up or unwind the harness cord and that is why the lifting can be achieved so one way of uh, this new technology is using stepper motors and the other technology is using the piezoelectric leaf springs basically these are the leaf spring or, or the flexible rods these flexible rods can be energized given current and this current cause them buckling bending and this bending can be controlled either in upward direction or in a uh, downward direction we connect our warp thread to this buckling spring and that cause the lifting of our warp yarn so these two technologies is being used by these manufacturers for example stepper motors are being used as Stobley and Muller Jacob Muller and Gross also but Gross is also offering this piezoelectric leaf spring method this is called Unished this is called Uniwall so these are this is the core of the new technology now let's us see this by one by one So, Strobley name uh, the technology of uh, stepper motor uh, they use for lifting the harness. They call it Uniwall 100. Uh, what they do is they replace the conventional uh, lifting module, the pulley system, the double lift jacquard pulley system, with this uh, stepper motor. They act as an actuator and, and strongly call it J actuators. They, the J actuators replace the old system, that is why it removes the magnets, the pulley system, the hooks, and the knives. And that is the harness, is, harness cords are directly connected to their individual stepper motor so there are as many number of stepper motors as number of harness cords are there in the system so they cause the lifting by winding the harness cord on their spindle and they lose the harness cord by unwinding it but we have a negative system at the bottom spring system that cause the return of the harness or handle wise to the bottom shed line so even though this is a new system but it is not a positive system it is a negative system it means it uh, controls the one way lifting the lowering need assistance from the spring to return the harness cords but the good thing is that each yarn is controlled independently 
and the the position of pedal wire can be controlled by the amount of winding at the motor spindle so each warp yarn can be placed in any one position to the whole movement from bottom to the top that gives us a lot of possibilities of positioning our handle wire anywhere uh, in the shed depth so this gives us very vast uh, flexibility of changing or uh, positioning the handle wires also the system does not require the mechanical drive from the machine the actuators are synchronized with the machine electronically this removes the high energy need of the mechanical system and a machine can operate at very low energy also this system because each co harness cord is linked to the each handle so we we need to have the jacquard's width as per the machine's width requirement but we will not require the very large gantry setting that is required in the conventional systems will not be required here even the system can also be mounted on the machine frame depending upon the possibilities so the large volume requirement large space requirement of the conventional jacquard is not like that and we can conserve this conserve the space and energy and this volume of uh, the space so all these benefits can be achieved by using minimal 100 so dear students in this slide you can see the different uh, the configuration of these uh, g actuators uh, on the left you can see a uh, univol jacquard head this jacquard head is uh, fitted with a large number of G actuators. You can see a large array of G actuators is placed over here. If you look close up, there is a one. There are many modules together. There, this one module can control 16 stepper motors, 16 G actuators, and E, this in one module there is uh, one, uh, each in, in each G actuator you can see that one box is fit with one G actuator uh, which has a spindle on which the uh, cord can be wounded so uh, the, the, this uh, setup this configuration can be changed and the density of the Harness the number of cords available to control to make available the warp density can be achieved uh, as required from very sparse opening, very less warps per end per inch to the very high number of uh, warps per inch can is possible. This configuration can be changed and these uh, these rows can be the rows availability of rows can be changed and the density can be controlled so uh, up to 30,000 there are about 30,000 number of uh, cords can be available in the machine width so and there are a lot more for flexibility available with these jacquards so now let's see how they work in this slide you can see the different possibilities with the our G actuator. The G actuator is a very uh, innovative technology. The best thing is you can control the height of the harness. Because of that, you can control the uh, shed staggering. You can control the angle that is made by the shed as well as the height of different harnesses so so you there are a lot of possibilities first let me uh, uh, let me introduce you how they are working 
in this image you can see in this video you can see uh, the stepper motor that is moving in one direction that then it is moving in another direction this rotation the direction of rotation cause the uh, lifting or lowering of the harness and on the right you can see that the because the stepper motors can be programmed and because of this programming you can see that the the harness or the shedding have very uh, very much flexibility you can control how and in what way you uh, they should they should open the shed so there are a lot of possibilities I, as I told you you can control the shed staggering with respect to timing you can control the shed angle shed height even you can make multiple sheds for example you can, for the technical fabric you can see that you can control the height of the shed opening that is why you can make 3d fabrics so J actuators give us a lot of flexibility in the controlling the heel frame or harness uh, that helps us to uh, use the J cards not only for conventional use but more advanced use in which we can pr produce technical fabrics 3d fabrics in which we can produce a sufficient depth in the fabric because we can position our handle wire more than one position and that is why we can insert peak above and below and uh, control the height depth of the work, thickness of our fabric dear students another technology that is also by from the strobly is called univol 200 uh, this technology is used for uh, narrow weaving uh, for maybe ribbons and narrow fabrics uh, this technology uses solid rods these solid rods has a, a, a tooth portion of it on which an actuator a uh, stepper motor can can uh, it can be attached is attached to this uh, solid rod and this solid rod, this actuator uh, can rotate and cause this uh, solid rod to lift or lower uh, but this technology is limited to small widths that is up to 47 millimeter that is why uh, narrow weaving or ribbon weaving is only possible with this technology so uh, this also removes the uh, also where it is where we see that in the uni 100 it removes magnets and other things it also remove here the cords and handle wires long handle wires solid handle wires are used that are directly uh, given motion from the actuators stepper motors and lifting cause the lifting and loading of the shed so this is uh, the rather positive system and it uses the solid rod rather than cords but it is limited for the small width fabrics that is narrow fabrics dear students uh, there is another manufacturer called uh, Jacob Muller uh, from Switzerland uh, they are also offering the narrow weaving but they are using the stepper motors to lift the harness and this is a negative system but um, this use the uh, stepper motors for a narrow weaving machine so uh, Jacob Muller is also one of the uh, new Jacquard uh, innovation they are using and offering the narrow weaving using stepper motors Dear students, now let's talk about uh, uh, the spring leaf spring method of shedding. Uh, th this is offered by Gross. Uh, it is called Unished. Uh, basically, it uses uh, piezoelectric uh, leaf springs. Piezoelectric, piezoelectric leaf springs are flexible strips. These flexible strips are attached at its center uh, to the uh, warp threads so this warp thread is directly linked to the leaf spring there is no there is no cord here so leaf springs uh, movement buckling bending upward and downward cause the lifting of the, our uh, warp thread so this is a new technique that does not involve any of the 
knives or motors or cords this is totally new idea totally new technology so this is a, in a sense quite better technology uh, there were some shortcomings in Unishad 1 in Unishad 2 these shortcomings have has been removed so it is a good technology uh, that is uh, being offered by Gross and let's see how its future is now let's talk about more in detail about this technology so this Unishad technology by Gross it you it is you it is using special type of actuators called piezo actuators basically these are piezo electric leaf springs like we saw in previous slide so they are controlling the handles directly linking with the piezo electrics piezo electric leaf springs positively so this is a positive system that is why there is no returning there is no returning or spraying method that return and it also makes an open shed whose geometry can be adjusted and that help us to eliminate harness cords hooks magnets pulleys and pull down springs and also the most important thing is it does not require any availability of gantry the the unishad checker shedding system directly can be mounted on the machine so it does not require any of the bulky in uh, space requirements and it can be installed like a like a dobby or cam system on the machine no doubt it takes up the space on the machine above the machine but it does not require a gantry to be used also because uh, uh, this this configuration of the of the piezoelectric spring leaf springs can easily be placed on the machine and they are directly linked to the handle wires we can uh, we can have the drawing in and reading function be performed out of the machine and we just place the system hole on the machine and start weaving so we can use a quick style so the downtime of the machine that requires drawing in from the machine when you change the article is not required quick style options that is available like in dobbies and cam can be followed in this system also so this is a very very good advantage of changing the style out of the machine and just placing the shedding system on the machine and start weaving so so uh, quick style change is very good option that is possible by Unishell. The other advantage is, is there is no pulley system. That is why uh, we do not require to repair or maintain our, uh, such system. The, the threads uh, are directly linked to the shedding system. The handle wires are directly link, uh, linked to the shedding system. So we do not have the pulley systems. We do not have the hardness. The, the uh, we have the there are as many number of the uh, threads are there in the machine as many number of uh, uh, shedding elements, uh, leaf springs we must use. So the uh, the overall number of component are reduced, so that make the simple sim uh, that make the sim system simple and easier to man maintain. The design is very compact and it can uh, can be can take very small space and very compact that is why we do not require larger cooling larger uh, volume for the cooling we can save on the budget the cost can be reduced of the co for the cooling and the capital cost can be reduced for adjusting the machine in lower space lower volume and this all helps us to uh, the, simpli the simplification this all help us to increase the machine speed machine we can operate the machine at higher speeds higher rpms and also when we do not require large mechanical systems when we, we do not require large mechanical systems uh, the energy requirement can be reduced 
even the Unisha 2 uh, reflexes back the energy, very less energy required. So the, the, it is very very energy efficient system. So, um, so, so you see here the the different features of the Unisher leaf spring system for the jacket shedding. Now let's talk about more in the next slide. Here in this uh, slide you can see the Unisher Unisher two system. This Unisher two system and the cross sectional view is available over here. You can see here our warp threads and heddle wires are directly linked to the to our uh, lifting mechanism. So, so, so the motion from the system is directly transferred to the head through the heddle wires to the our warp thread. We have multiple rails, multiple sh uh, shelves of the uh, leaf spring actuators that can control large density of threads so so this uh, this is the side view of the system you can see how it is configured uh, here you can see the uh, unisharp 1 and 2's principle there is a basic principle difference we will just talk about it unisharp 1 was introduced in 1999 and uh, it use leaf spring uh, is a is a by use a fixed rod the bending of the piezoelectric is controlled by electro electronically and this bending cause the heddle wires to lift or lower so the the bending apply the pressure So pressure controlled longitudinal bending is causing the shed opening and closing. So direction of the buckling or bending can be controlled. That is why the the uh, the heddle wire can be lifted or lower. The unisharp one was following second mode of Euler principle, and the compressive axial force caused the buckling. But it follows the semi sinusoidal semi wave. That is why it has some imperfections. That was improved in uh, uh, Unisher 2, which used the fourth mode of Euler principle and follow a complete sinusoidal wave. That is why the, the deficiencies have been removed. 100% shedding can be achieved. By either uh, without any fault with the using Unisher 2. So Gross introduced the Unisher 2 in 2007. Basically, it is the difference between the attachment of the uh, interfaces of the piezoelectric piezo actuators. And also in Unisher 2, we use uh, motorized control. This motorized control help us. Uh, the uh, to transfer to lift cause the lifting of the uh, frames of the sorry uh, adult wires in unisharp one each uh, leaf spring was uh, given the force but in the unisharp two a uh, uniform force is applied to the all actuators and the this force is then convert it to the individual spring so uh, there is a small difference in the transfer of the motion in the to the actuators in unisharp 1 and 2 and uh, this this improves the system so in the in the unisharp 2 motion is generated by stepper motors that are available on the on the outside of the machine and the this rotation of the uh, stepper motor's rotation movement is converted into shed opening by os oscillating shaft. So the good thing about Unishad is the the leaf spring method uh, when is given uh, when is energized, it reflects back the 
supplied energy, supplied energy uh, like a winding watch, I wonder watch. That is why a very small energy is consumed by the uh, leaf springs. So overall, the machine can operate a very low energy requirement. So at the last, uh, I am showing you the two machines. Here is the Unished one. You see the 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 motion and uh, the leaf springs are inside the housing, and individual control is done inside. Like over here, this is the Unished one. This was introduced in 1999. And then we have Unished two. We see the uh, stepper motors are outside. They transfer the motion to the uh, to our our handle wires through flexible shaft, flexible rods, uh, selection by the leaf springs. So this was all about uh, the latest methods for the uh, Jacquard technology. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamualaikum.